are live on Stan Sports as we will be this Saturday night, Saturday the 7th of October, as Fighter Promotions presents Battle on the Reef here at the Townsville Entertainment Centre. It is presented by Ned's, Sheriff Electrical, The Ville Resort and Casino, Adidas Combat Sports, JD Sports, Triple M Townsville and Century Pools along with their charity partner, Morph. Tickets are still available through Ticket Tech. But if you're a little further away and cannot attend, we have conveniently put the QR code right up on the screen at the moment. You can order Battle on the Reef right now across Australia on Stan Sports. It is an eight fight card of four professional fights, four NRL fights, some of the biggest names and biggest frames in the game, some new faces and some very familiar ones as well. From the top, our card looks like this for the IBF Intercontinental and WBA Oceana light heavyweight titles. Paulo Acuso versus Gabriel Omar Diaz from Argentina. The King of Townsville, Jason Tamalolo and Parramatta Reels, Regan Campbell-Gillard. Tavita Pangai Jr, professional boxer now, versus Frank Amato. Nelson Sofa Solomona and Jared Wallace, Junior Bolo and the polar bear Ben Hannant, Justin Hodges and Matt Cooper reignite origin rivalries. There is Jermaine Pangai against Napueti Dawa Dawa and Austin Akuso versus Filimoni Navia Junior. We will open the floor up to questions. I will start, and I will start with Jason Talmalolo and Regan Campbell-Gillard. Jace, 252 games for the Cowboys. What's the appeal of boxing? Um, yeah, I did it as a kid, so you know, never, never thought that I'd make the walk, and uh, 30 years on, I've decided to take it. So uh, over the last few weeks, I've learned, um, you know, learned a few few new things and uh, learn about the sport of boxing and uh, you know it's one that only a few can take and um, you know I'm lucky enough to do that in this card so uh, yeah look Saturday night's going to be an uh, exciting night I know I've done the work and I know Regan's done the work too so I'm looking forward to um, you know stepping on the ring. No settled in yet or not yet? Uh, not quite yet um, obviously still a couple of days till fight night so uh, I, I don't think it'll settle till, um, like I said, walking up to, to the ring. The toughest JT in Townsville, but <laughs> I will say congratulations to the other JT, Jonathan Thurston, who is here with us today on his inclusion in the Australian Sports Hall of Fame yesterday. Thought it was absolutely terrific for Jonathan as a young man and a great ambassador for rugby league. To the Parramatta Reels and New South Wales Blues enforcer, Regan Campbell-Gillard, your first up to Reg. Why now? Why Jason? Um, not too sure, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, sort of um, been getting asked to uh, do these fights uh, on numerous occasions and um, I respectively said no. Uh, just out of something I don't I don't do and um, yeah I, I felt um, you know Jace has um, nev never done this before and I'm the same as well so um, I felt like it was sort of the um, right opponent to uh, to do it and to sort of challenge myself in in that sort of sense and um, but yeah um, yeah don't really know what I'll be doing <laughs> mate so um, yeah pretty pretty nervous to be honest uh, but, but excited as well. It's a, it's a different challenge, and um, Jace has been, um, you know, at, at the top of his sport in rugby league for for a number of years. And um, yeah, the way that he plays, I'm, I'm assuming that's the way he's going to be coming out on Saturday. Another one of our contests, uh, right next to Regan, the Samoan bulldozer, Junior Paolo, and the polar bear Benny Hannant. <laughs> Benny, you're a premiership winner with the Cowboys. No celebrations on, in Townsville this time. You're back to do business. Yeah, we're back to a bit of business, which is fantastic. It's good to be back here in Townsville. My first ever fight was actually up here against Josh Papali. So to be able to go up against arguably probably the best fighter in the NRL, I'm excited about. I got told as I was coming to this press conference, 37 current NRL players 
agreed to do the fight against him, none of them signed the contract and handed them back. So that tells you how many blokes are worried and scared of fighting this big man. I have a lot of respect for him, but I'm uh, excited for the challenge and uh, let's see if we can make an upset. The old hand's still got one more left. One? Got a couple left, I think. Well, we'll see how we go. It's, it's been a current, NRL, like being a, a former NRL player and these current players, you know, we, you can see here, a lot of boys are nervous up here right now. A lot of boys are, uh, you know, worried of the unknown. But one thing, sure, every single one of these blokes, when they get on that field or they get in that ring, they're competitive as hell. And the great thing is it's going to be entertaining. Blokes are going to be knocking each other out. And one thing is, every one of us hate losing. So I'm excited, not only for my fight, to, but to watch some of these big boys. I don't know how they got so many big blokes here on one card. Junior, as Benny said, no one wanted to fight you. Knowing you like I do, mate, and, and pretty much like all the NRL guys, you've got such a respect for boxing. Like, you, you, you're living it at the moment, and, and you absolutely love it. The sport, the training, the discipline, the whole thing. Yeah, I do. Um, it, it's definitely hard to... Uh, back up what Benny is saying. It, it does help when he's on radio, so it helps with all the talking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, like you said, um, you know, boxing is a, a sort of sport that uh, you tend to visit uh, during the off season, and uh, you, you want to be able to respect the sport well enough that you want to be able to put on a good show. And um, you know, with quite the card that we've got here, it allows us to to set a platform for guys like Bolo, Tavita, um, Austin, all them to showcase what they've got to offer. So. Um, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to kicking off with some fireworks this, this weekend. Love it. Uh, so, Junior, we're going to have the best fight, though, aren't we? are going to put on the best show or what? You or me? Uh, I'm, I'm with you. Uh, like you said, no one likes to lose up here, so... Yep. It's, Sweet. It's on. Two <laughs> big boys. Jared Wallace against uh, the Tower of Power. Nelson, Asofa, Solomona, Jay Wall. Uh, Mail is you're loving training and looking great. Oh, I don't know about looking great, but I've been enjoying uh, training. Um, you know, Fidel, my uh, coach, is definitely, um, you know, I've heard a few of the boys have been doing two, three days a week. He's had me in six days a week and just sat me on a bike to uh, try and sh shred that extra fat, which I think he might have been on the phone to Wayne most of the week. Uh, but no, it's been unreal. Obviously, um, you know, I got a chance to do this, you know, five years ago, um, said I was never going to do it again. Um, just because it was more just that, that you know that one-time opportunity to jump in there and um, look, I got the phone call to you know, give this a crack and um, yeah, originally they said it was meant to be up against JT actually and then I got the contract through and it was with Nelson and my eyes kind of you know, give that little uh, bit of a, a shake. But look, I'm I'm excited. I think you know why not go up against the biggest guy in Australia and and uh, trying to you know go to go uh, you know three four rounds with him. So I'm I'm really excited. and It's been good. What was Wayne's reaction when you told him you were going boxing? Um, they told me I'm not allowed to say it because of the presser, but it was um, there'd be a few beeps in there, and uh, it's said something along the lines of "idiot." Um, and uh, no, but he, like he's really excited. You know, he's he's called me. We spoke about it, and uh, it's been it's been a bit of fun. Cheers, mate. Uh, Big Nels, always a pleasure seeing you. You do have the reach advantage. I'm tipping you'll enjoy your jabs, but that's not why you're here. But you football players are here for a knockout? Uh, yeah, I'm here to make it an early night for him. Um, <laughs> the sooner we can end this, the uh, faster we can jump on the roulette tables. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How are your nerves, mate? Obviously nervous, but uh, with nerves comes, comes excitement, and um, an excited fighter is a, a dangerous fighter. The origin rivalries, I said, reignites. Matt Cooper and Justin Hodges. Hodgey, did you two ever actually throw hands on a footy field? No, I think we come close a number of times. Uh, obviously, when he's playing for the Dragons, <laughs> I was at the Bronx, and then origin time, he come close again, but I think he's too worried about losing and worried about losing in another fight on the field. But, uh, yeah, look, we, we never did, mate, so we get an opportunity on Saturday night. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to punching the crap out of him. Matty, um, you've tossed this around combat sports for a number of years now. Why yeah. now? And why Hodja? Well, obviously, um, you know, I always wanted to do uh, MMA. Uh, I've been training in MMA for, you know, a long time. And, you know, I, I got the opportunity to uh, step into the ring and, and box. So, you know, I, w I want to taste of that, that action. And, yeah. and Justin's perfect uh, opponent, you know. Um, you asked about if, Anyone had a joke before? Yeah. Um, 
apologise for that. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hodge, I'm glad. Hodge's not looking like that. He's looking good, so it's going to be a good fight. <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry about that photo. Worry about the photo after the fight, bro. When your face is all fucked up. <laughs> Sorry about the language. Coops, to bring the best out of yourself, either previously as a rugby league player or now as a as a boxer, do you have to make it personal in your head, or to get the best out of yourself? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's been a funny feeling. It's like um, it's like uh, coming back for a NRL game. You know, mm. I've got that um, you know that that feeling back in in the stomach, and uh, it, it's exciting. And um, yeah, like Justin said, you know, it's going to be a good fight. Um, you know, we go way back. You know, we we had battles on the field. You know, Brisbane versus Dragons, Queensland versus New South Wales. You know, it was it was just a, a massive rivalry. So, um, you know, I always wanted to step into into boxing um, against you know someone that is you know is a good fighter, had a few fights under their belt. You know, I didn't want to. I wanted to give boxing the respect it deserves and not go in, uh, jump into the ring and, and just fight a bum. You know, I wanted to fight someone, you know, who can actually fight. The Pangai boys and the Okuso boys make up the professional portion of the event. Tavita Pangai Jr. versus Frankie Amato. Frankie, um, Tavita's grabbing the headlines, mate. Uh, how are you feeling? One, two. Can you? Yep. Now I'm feeling good, man. Um, I've been working hard for this uh, fight game. Um, when I got the when I got the phone call for this fight, I thought someone tried to scam me. Um, and I say, oh, I never heard of her. And they say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he he kind of repeat say, oh, David Abanga Jr. And I like, oh mate, oh, never heard of her. But but then I. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll take the fight and I'll work hard. I was in the middle of um, my rugby season. Um, I tried to put weight. Every time I play <coughs> rugby, I try to put some weight on. But as soon as I find out, I'm going to fight him. And um, I was training hard. I lose so much skill for this. I look like a middleweight, but I still bounce like a heavyweight. Love it. Brother, yeah. why is there on TikTok you get knocked out then? <laughs> boy, cruiserweight. This is heavyweight boxing, boy. Yeah, that's why I'm here, mate. Mate, your last two shows, your last two fights have been in front of people like this. You haven't, you haven't seen what you're going to see on Saturday night. Yeah, but come Saturday, thousands of people, story. not just fucking 200 people, mate. Hey, my last, my last two fights. My last only, two shows, there'll be more people. I only take it on a two weeks notice. Make sure you're ready. Yeah, you make sure you're ready too. Tavita, you made the, the, the huge decision announcement. You know, we're going back a few months now. Decision's been made, but. The time has come. It's it's a big night for you Saturday night. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just I'm here to prove all my doubt is wrong, all my haters wrong. You know, they're all trying to tell me what to do. All the people in the media are trying to tell me what to do. I do what I want to do. I'm my own boss. That's why I left. I'm sick of taking orders off halfbacks and coaches. I'll do what I want to do. You know, all of us big boys, we know we know footy. Yeah. We know what to do. We know get to this point, get to that point. Why are you trying to tell us what to do? We'll do what we want to do. Tavita is open to any challenges wearing the six and seven jersey for future, <coughs> future fights. Uh, Jermaine, Tavita's brother, Jermaine Pangai, joining us. Uh, you've made it to the professional ranks, mate. Congratulations. Your story is a wonderful one as it is. Um, 40 odd kilos lost and ready to go, mate. Congratulations. You look terrific. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, no, I've yeah, just been working hard with my brother during this camp. and. Um, I've, like me and my brother have all worked hard and I uh, just can't wait to showcase our skills in the ring and then hopefully I suppose we can get that knockout. <laughs> Are you more nervous or is Big Brother more nervous? I think I'm more nervous to be honest. It's my first time in front of the theat, like a lot of cameras in front of me but I'm just really grateful to take this opportunity to be honest. Awesome buddy, awesome. Uh, at Cruiserweight tomorrow, uh, Saturday night, Austin Okuso. Uh, good to see you, mate. Five fights so far. You're against a more experienced opponent. Time to make a statement on Saturday night here in Townsville. Yeah, that's it. Um, I want to uh, come out here. Um, you know, I think I'm the first fight, so I want to start the show, show off right. And um, my brother's going to close the show in a, in a good fashion, you know. 
And um, I'm so blessed to be on this card, you know, and um, all these established uh, rugby players. It's a good platform for me, get my name out there and um, just make a statement that night, put on um, a good performance. Awesome, mate. Hey, our main event is for dual titles. Uh, the Sweet Pea, Polo Okuso and Gabriel Omar Diaz. Gabriel has his translator, Santiago, here. Um, big trip out of Argentina to Queensland, Australia. How is he feeling and is he ready to go? Has tenido, Gabriel, un gran viaje desde Argentina hasta acá. ¿Cómo te sentís hoy? Sí, ha sido un viaje largo y bueno, quería agradecer por la oportunidad de estar acá hoy en día. Y bueno, eh, sí, bien descansado y esperando el sábado para la gran pelea. It's been a, a long flight from Argentina to here. Uh, I've been rested well enough and I'm ready for fight night. Beautiful. I think he also said he's a Cowboys fan. Um, <laughs> you like that one, Regan? Thank you. Um, <laughs> Paulo, what, a, what a, a huge night for you, mate. The star is rising, the pressure is on, you are the headline act on a major card. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Uh, you know, this is, this is big, this is, uh, this is massive for me. I uh, just so want to thank Townsville. Uh, you know, I'm going to put on a show for you guys. Um, but yeah, nah, it's going to be exciting. I'm going to bring out my skills. Um, definitely put on a show for the crowd. What have you been working on, mate, since we saw you last? Uh, a lot of things. Um, it will come show uh, Saturday night, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see um, everyone else fight, uh, my brother as well, uh, you know, obviously it's my first time fighting with my brother on the card, so it'll be hectic. I know you're a boxing fan, but you're a sports fan, what's it like uh, hanging around with, with some of the best in the game? Yeah, I think I might go half back, eh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. An eight fight card for NRL fights for professional bouts. It is this Saturday night, Saturday, October 7 at the Townsville Entertainment Centre. Tickets are still available through Ticket Tech. The QR code is on your screen if you're watching live around Australia. Order the fight now. It is Battle on the Reef, and we'll be back in 24 hours for the official weigh in. And then it's time to lock the doors, gentlemen. Time to get ready will be 24 hours from face punching time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for your attendance, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the Wayne.